So Jonathan Kukos, I'm an engineer in the field organization at Cloudera. Um, and like BJ said, I'm going to show you guys um, a pretty quick demo here that is sort of a, you know, it, you might see some, you know, flavors of specific use cases in here. You can also look at it as sort of just a general purpose, sort of real-time architecture, how to use Cloudera software to handle this type of data. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so what we have here for the basic overview of our architecture is um, a data generator that's generating sort of, uh, you know, a simple connected car-like data. Um, so what you're going to see on there is a timestamp, uh, the VIN number is a unique identifier for the vehicle, uh, the coordinate location of the vehicle between GPS, uh, the vehicle mileage, the current speed of the vehicle, uh, some accelerometer readings off the vehicle. So that'll be both, you know, sort of acceleration and braking and also handling you know, different directions of acceleration. Um, you know, are the brakes applied currently? Is the turn signal on? Has a lane been departed? Uh, was a collision detected or was a hazard detected? So you know, th these are things that vehicles sort of, you know, we're talking about hundreds of sensors on vehicles. These are just some sort of simple examples, but also seeing some very powerful examples. And we're just going to look at sort of some of the ways you can use that data to yeah, basically just some of the ways you can play with that here. Um, so what we've got is we've got that data getting cranked out of this generator as if it were coming off a real car. Well, we're picking it up with a tool called Stream Sets Data Collector. Uh, Stream Sets is a, a graphical user interface based um, ingestion pipeline tool um, that allows you to very easily sort of drag, drop, and configure to make these pipelines. Um, in addition to you know, making things simpler, it also is an incredibly powerful tool, you know, capable of handling production workloads, um, handling errors, routing, you know, everything you need around there. It's a really cool tool. I'll get to take a look at that in a second, and I'll sort of explain more what's going on in there. Um, then we're, from stream sets, we're picking it up um, in Cloudera, where it's getting passed to Spark Streaming, where some, some real-time analytics are going on. Um, specifically, we're looking at, um, the accelerometer readings um, and the vehicle mileage and things like that, and we're aggregating those into a profile for each vehicle. So based on the accelerometer readings, we're creating a score for every driver saying, how aggressively does this person accelerate? How aggressively does this person brake? How aggressively does this person handle? Um, you know, things like that, you know, aggregating the total mileage the vehicle's gone, their average speed over time, different things like that. Um, Something else we're doing, so we have streams that's routing the data in two ways. It'll be more clear in a minute, but um, there are two things going on in there. One of them is that, you know, we're going into to SparkStream and doing some analytics, storing this profile in Kudu, we're updating it in real time, and able to query that for analytical and sort of, you know, real-time type queries using Impala. Um, the other thing that's going on is we're looking at certain events that are happening with these vehicles, such as um, like was a collision detected, um, was a road hazard detected, or was an illegal lane change detected. And so I'm defining an illegal lane change here as a lane change being detected without the presence of the turn signal. Um, so yeah, so those are the events of interest, and we're, we're pumping those into Apache Solar, which is a uh, Basically, you know, Cloud Air is a version of a, a, of a search tool. It's, it allows you to do faceted text, interactive search, you know, cut into your data without having specialized, you know, SQL skills or anything like that. Just really easily have a collection of events, slice it however you want um, in real time. It's very powerful. Um, and then we're going to be visualizing all of this in an Arcadia data dashboard that, you know, Again, it's going to, you'll see sort of different flavors of different use cases in there um, when we get to that. So let's keep going. Yep. So these are sort of, you know, like I said, this is sort of a general purpose architecture, but what you'll see these sort of use cases more than anything else. One is, you know, for a vehicle manufacturer, he's interested in looking at you know, maybe just overall counts of how many times the brakes been applied in this vehicle, or maybe, you know, the scores we were talking about. How aggressively does this person brake so that they can make recommendations to drivers or, you know, vehicle owners about when they need to maintain that vehicle. So I know someone who's applied the brakes either 100,000 times or somebody who brakes like crazy is going to need to to replace their brakes more often than somebody who doesn't. Um, and a, you know, a manufacturer wants to be able to sort of make that recommendation to someone. Like Vijay was saying earlier, maybe send them a coupon, or, you know, do something to sort of provide that service to them and also sort of urge them to, you know, get there so they can make more money. Um, the other people who would be interested in this sort of use case more than others, I think, would be insurance companies who are going to be looking at those scores, 
similar to the manufacturers, but instead of making predictive maintenance recommendations, they're going to be making like customized insurance rates. So I know, um, you know, somebody who's has really high aggression scores for acceleration and braking and handling is probably at much higher risk of getting in a collision. Um, and so I want to be able to you know, calculate that score from the drive, collect that information, calculate a score, and use that to, to judge their rate. I also want to be able to do things like look into those events that we were talking about that we're sending into that, that um, solar collection. I, you know, I want to be able to say, if there was an accident here, you know, dive into that. Tell me how fast is this person going? What happened? So I can get some context around that. So for insurance companies, this is very powerful. Um, and a lot, you know, in that same line of thought, for public services organizations, being able to look at events that are happening on the road. If you, you, know, if you want to say you see a collision, you might need to dispatch emergency response personnel. So having a real-time dashboard where those events are coming in in real time, I can look at that and say, here's a collision. This person is going pretty fast. We better get the fire department out there, or whatever. So you know, keep your eyes peeled for that, or you know, keep your keep an open mind, and you might see see some some other um, some uses going on in here. But without further ado, I guess we'll just hop right into the demo. Um, let me share my screen and confirm that that's working. Okay, so do you guys see my screen right now? Yeah, yep, you can see that, Jason. Yep. Okay, so this is StreamSet's data collector, the tool I was talking about that's you know, quarterbacking our ingest pipeline. So over here on the far left, you can see we've got the connected car readings in. This is picking up the readings from wherever they're coming from. And if that sounds vague, it's because it, you know, really it is. This would be, this tool is capable of reading from a variety of sources, um, and it's open source software. So the beauty of that is, if it doesn't support your specific needs, you can easily write something and plug it in here. Um, so you know, it, it doesn't really matter. This, you know, this can support out of the box protocols like MQTT, MQP, things like that. Um, you know, of course, Apache Kafka, since we're talking about Hadoop. But you know, whatever you need that can be wired up. Um, then what we're doing is, you know, I, I talked about how we're, we're splitting these records and we've got two things going on. One is we've got, we're, we're looking at these events and we're going to send them to Apache Solar, Cloud Air Search. So for that, we need to do a little bit of prep and transformation. We need to generate a solar document ID. We need to convert some types that we match up with the schema. We need to do a little bit of conversions. We need to evaluate this event type. And we're actually doing a little bit of on the fly and you know, using stream sets. Um, where we're looking and saying, you know, is this an event that should be indexed, or should we just discard this record? So that's what's going on there. And if it is an event, a collision hazard, we're pushing that into Cloud Air Search over here. This other thing that's going on, as you can see, we're pushing this, this Kafka producer to Spark Streaming. That's um, basically taking the record and throwing it on Kafka topic where Spark Streaming is going to be able to read, and that's what we were talking about doing sort of, the, you know, that real-time analytics, generating that profile, doing that scoring, um, communicating with Kudu to store those profiles um, where they're available for Impala queries. And you can see that we've got data cranked into here. Our throughput is about 1,600 records per second right now. We've got close to 400,000 total. Um, and you know, that's my data generator is, is the limit on that. That's not being limited by stream sets. Um, we can do things. I'm not doing any of sort of the fancier stuff around error handling and configuration like that. But you get all these cool metrics. It's a really cool tool that you know makes things easier and also it, it is extremely powerful. So we can see that we've got data cranking. Let's take a look at our dashboard. This is our dashboard um, built with Arcadia data. Arcadia data is a BI visualization analytics tool um, really built natively to run on Hadoop. Um, it integrates with you know, all the storage systems we love. You know, it runs Impala queries. You can query Kudu. You can query HDFS to Impala. You can you know, get data from solar. Um, it gives you really powerful you know, tools for it's a great tool. It integrates with security tools. Um, I highly recommend it. So let's get into the event stream. So we're going to look at three streams on here, or three screens, sorry. First is the event stream, which is the, the raw events coming in here. Um, apologize for these things getting a little bunched up on the side here. This is really meant to be viewed on a larger screen, so my laptop is squishing it in here. But these are the events coming in in little five-second micro batches. So we're just getting a quick window of what's going on. You can imagine you might have like a public services organization, you might have somebody who's not, you know, a highly skilled analyst or anything like that, but somebody can just sort of keep an eye on this. You know, if they see something terrible happen, maybe alert someone. Or if they see a huge spike in, you know, activity here, um, 
alert someone. And, and you know, we're, we're, they're getting these details about the events. We can see what vehicle it is. We can see their latitude, their longitude, some information like that. And we're getting this map that's updated in real time. But then we might also want to be able to dig in on a specific vehicle, right? So we can do that too. We can easily click on this bin here, and this is going to take us into a detailed view screen for this vehicle. So where we were, you know, in that last screen, we were looking at five-second batches for all vehicles that we have in our fleet here. Now we're just looking at this one vehicle and seeing what, you know, what has this guy done? Um, and we can see a map of that here. We can you know, dig into that map. We can click on these events and see what happens. So he was going 43 miles per hour, and he did an illegal lane departure at this time. Um, you know, if I'm an insurance company and somebody says, hey, I got an accident, and I see, look, man, you just made seven illegal land departures before that, that's you know, extremely powerful information. Um, and and I, I can have a list of that over here, too. Well, you're also able to see here some of these aggregates that we're computing in Spark Streaming, like these, these aggression scores here, the acceleration aggression scores, the braking aggression, the handling aggression, um, the overall score. You know, the average speed, um, how many times they deploy the brakes, and things like that. These are these aggregates. So we're seeing a mix of data coming from solar and CUDA here, which is part of what makes Arcadia so powerful, is you can really unify these data sources in a single screen. Um, yeah, so, so we're getting sort of a little bit of taste of the analytics here. We really want to dive more into the analytics. We can go into our analysis page here, which is saying, you know, do a complete scan of all our vehicles, of all these profiles, and, and See what's going on. Can keep some aggregates over that. Um, so what we've got here on the left is we've got a correlation with collisions, the total count of collisions versus aggression scores. Um, and so you know, if I'm an insurance company, I want to know are these scores I'm assigning to drivers actually indicative of a collision? So this is how you might evaluate a question like that, right? Can you let's correlate our collision scores versus our aggression, and we can see that you know as the aggression score increases, they tends to be a greater number of collisions as well. So if I'm an insurance company, that might validate me. Um, you can also see here, I mentioned you know, predicted maintenance for manufacturers. Um, that's what this chart here on the right is, where you're seeing basically, you know, this is how uh, my imaginary manufacturer is recommending that people replace their oil. If your score is up here, you know, these are real vehicles with real scores. You can see the VINs that I have over here. This person should replace their oil every 3,000 miles, I'm saying. Um, you know, somebody with a much lower score, they can maybe go up to 10,000 miles. And that's, you know, that's a, a chart of that. And then here you're seeing just the, at the top these aggression KPIs, just the overall scores to give you a sense of, you know, compare this person, you know, who, who we're just looking at in a detailed view, compare them to the average and see how they, how they stack up, maybe to, to say, you know, if they're much higher than average, they should have to pay a higher rate or something like that. Um, so yeah, that's just a you know a, a quick look at this sample demo. Um, you know, just to reiterate, you're seeing data coming in from a generator, um, coming into Apache Kafka, getting picked up by StreamSec, where it's being forwarded back to Apache Kafka, where Spark Streaming can pick it up, um, do some aggregations, write that to Kudu, Impala can query that, um, Arcadia uses Impala to query that, and also we're using StreamSec to write data directly into Solar.